is to communicate with your guests. Some of you might be thinking, well, duh, but I'm telling you, there are hosts out there who really like once the booking happens, they don't communicate with their guests or they communicate too much. But here are two points of communication that you don't want to miss out on. That is clear check-in instructions. And going back to tip number one, we always check to make sure the guest code is working before the guest checks in because man, if you miss that check-in experience and the code doesn't work, it's gonna to be tough to win your guest back. So clear check-in instructions that's delivered either to, you know, via Airbnb or if using a property management software, you could text them the check-in instructions, but very clear, very concise, not too long, all the information they need. And then the other point of communication is the morning after. Guests don't always feel like they can tell you what's wrong. They might feel bad about it. They might feel too hurried, but then they'll leave it in the review. So if in the morning, like not too early in the morning, like 10 a.m., message them, hey, how'd the first night go? Is anything not working? Do you have any questions about how something operates? Feel free to let us know. We're here to make your stay a five-star stay.